In this video, we're going to discuss about the shortened truth table technique for tautological implication. So, sa last video natin, diniscuss ko sa inyo yung, yung truth table technique which is yung ginagamit natin para ma-determine yung kind ng propositional form. So, dito naman, ipoprove natin na yung given propositional form ay tautological implication without using table. So, ang, gagawin, ang gagamitin lang natin, yung idea ng mga truth values sa truth table ng bawat logical operator. Okay? So, bago yon since dun muna tayo sa tautological implication, so, i-recall natin yung truth table ng, ng implication. Okay? So, sa implication, kailan nagwa-1 or kailan nagiging true ang ating implication. Okay? So, kapag 1-1, 0, 1, or 0, 0. So, ibig sabihin, kahit ano pa yung conclusion natin, basta 0 yung premise natin, automatic, 1 na. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, di na natin kailangan na i-assume na ang premise ay 0. Kapag gagamit tayo ng shortened truth table technique. Kasi kapag in natin na ang premise ay 0, tapos na ang process. Automatic, 1 na agad. Okay? Kaya ang pag-uusapan natin ay ia-assume natin yung premise ay 1. Tapos para ma-prove natin na tautological implication siya, dapat mapakita natin na yung conclusion ay 1 para maging 1 or tautological implication. Okay? So to show that the propositional form is tautological implication using STTT, or shorten to the table technique, assume that the premise is true, then show that the conclusion is also true. For example, number one, let's have P and Q quantity implies not quantity not P or not Q. So, i-assume yeah, natin na yung premise ay true. So, assume P and Q is logically equivalent to 1. Then we have to show that the conclusion, which is yung not quantity not P or not Q, is logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So ang gagawin natin dito, ito lang yung pwede natin galawin. And dapat mapakita natin to. Okay? Now, since yung P and Q ay logically equivalent to 1, so sigurado tayo, base sa idea natin ng conjunction, nagwa-1 lang yan kapag parehong 1 yung conjuncts. So, ibig sabihin, kung 1 to, yung P and Q, yung P natin ay logically equivalent to 1, tapos yung Q ay logically equivalent to 1. Okay? Now, kung yung P ay logically equivalent to 1, then yung not P ay logically equivalent to 0. Tapos yung not Q, logically equivalent to 0. Okay? And then, yung not P or not Q, since pareho silang 0, this is logically equivalent to 0. Okay? Then, yung not quantity not P or not Q is logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So, not 0, this is logically equivalent to 1. Which is, yun yung na, yun dapat natin ipakita. Okay? So, napakita natin, na yung conclusion is true. So, therefore, this is done. Tautological logical implication. Or pwede nating isulat as ti na lang. Okay? So, pwedeng ti na lang. For number 2, let's have P implies Q, quantity implies the quantity not P or Q. So, assume that P implies Q is logically equivalent to 1 and we have to show that not P or Q is logically equivalent to 1. Okay, so alin yung meron tayo? Ito, P implies Q logically equivalent to 1. Okay, so but merong problema. Okay, so kailan nagiging 1 ang P implies Q? Kapag 1 implies 1, 0 implies something. No? So, ibig sabihin, kahit 1 or 0 to, possible na maging 1 itong P implies Q. Pero hindi tayo sigurado kung anong truth value ang meron kay P. Okay? So, meron tayong dalawang cases. 
So for case 1, let P be logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So kung yung P ay logically equivalent to 1, then yung Q, anong total value niya? So therefore, yung Q logically equivalent to 1 din. Paano tayo nakasiguro? Kasi hindi pwedeng mag 0 itong Q, magiging 1 implies 0 siya, which is magkakamali ito. Okay, so hindi pwedeng 1 implies 0 kasi nga itong P implies Q natin ay logically equivalent to 1. Kaya sigurado tayo na dito kapag ang P ay logically equivalent to 1, yung Q ay logically equivalent to 1 din. And therefore, not P or Q, so hindi na natin kailangan kunin not P ah. Okay, kasi ito naman yung target natin eh. So, not P or Q is logically equivalent to 1. Bakit? Kasi yung Q natin ay 1 na. So, isa lang naman mag 1 dito, okay na eh. Logically equivalent to 1 na agad eh. So, okay na yung case 1 natin. Pero hindi pa tayo tapos. Yan ay kapag yung P ay logically equivalent to 1. So, paano naman for case 2? Paano naman kapag yung P natin ay logically equivalent to 0? So, if P is logically equivalent to 0, so, tignan muna natin sa ano, assumption. So, kung 0 implies something, kahit hindi natin alam tong Q, 1 na automatic yan. Okay? At wala tayong paraan para malaman yung Q. So, isip tayo ng ibang diskarte. So, what if kunin natin yung not P? So, sure ba ta magiging sure ba tayo sa value ng not P? So, since yung P ay logically equivalent to 0, so sure tayo na this is 1. Okay? And kahit ito lang yung gamit natin, mapapatunayan natin na yung not P or Q is logically equivalent to 1. Kasi isa sa kanila ay 1. Okay? So, sa kahit anong case dito, mapa 1 man o 0 yung P. So, napapakita natin or napuprove natin na yung conclusion is logically equivalent to 1. So, therefore, this is done. Totological Okay, so for number 3, let's have P implies the quantity Q implies R, quantity implies the quantity P and Q, quantity implies R. Okay, so ano yung premise natin? Ito, ito yung conclusion. So assume that P implies quantity Q implies R is logically equivalent to 1 and we have to show that P and Q implies R is logically equivalent to 1. Okay? Now, so since implication ulito, so wala ulit tayong kasiguraduhan kung yung P ay 1 o 0. Okay? Kasi pwedeng 1, pwedeng 0 para mag logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So meron ulit tayong dalawang cases na naman. So for case 1, let P be logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So, kung yung P ay logically equivalent to 1, then, sigurado tayo na itong Q implies R is logically equivalent to 1. So, hindi yan mag zero Okay? Now, wala na naman tayo magamit kasi hindi natin alam yung truth value ng Q tsaka ng truth value ng R. So, therefore, Hindi naman natin mapapalabas to gamit ito lang. Then, magkakaroon tayo ng subcase under the case 1. So, let's have subcase 1. So, for subcase 1, i-assume natin na yung Q ay logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So, kung yung Q ay logically equivalent to 1, then sigurado tayo since Q implies R is logically equivalent to 1, yung R ay logically equivalent to 1. Okay? At kung 1 yung R, then, yung P and Q, quantity implies R, P and Q, quantity implies R, is logically equivalent to 1. So, paano tayo nakasiguro agad? Eh, hindi pa nga natin napapakita tong P and Q. Okay? Since yung conclusion ay 1, automatic yung implication ay 1 na. Okay? Diba nga, 1 implies 1, 1. 0 implies 1, 1. 
So kahit ano pa yung premise, 1 man o 0, palaging 1 ang truth value kapag yung conclusion ay 1. Okay? So hindi na natin kailangan ipakita tong P and Q. So next, okay tayo sa subcase 1, subcase 2. Ilet naman natin kung sa subcase 1, nilet natin na Q is 1. So ilet naman na natin na 0 siya. Okay? Kung 0 yung Q, then yung P and Q is logically equivalent to 0. Okay? Kasi mag conjunction yan, dapat 1 pareho para mag 1 yan. Eh 0 yung isa, 0 na yan. Okay? So ba't tayo napunta dyan? Kasi ito yung pinuprove natin. Okay? So mula dito sa idea na to, yung P and Q implies R. Di ba nga kapag ang premise ay 0, kahit ano pa yung conclusion, kahit hindi natin alam yan, mapa 1 o 0 yan, this is automatic automatically logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So okay tayo dito sa subcase 2. So ito ay under case 1 pa lang, punta tayo sa case 2. So for case 2, since sa case 1 nilet natin yung p logically equivalent to 1, ilet naman natin p logically equivalent to 0. Okay? So kung yung p ay logically equivalent to 0, automatic yung p and q 0 na. Okay? Then, yung P and Q quantity implies R is logically equivalent to 1. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, sa kahit anong cases, mga case 1 o case 2, napapakita natin o napoprove natin na yung conclusion is logically equivalent to 1. So, therefore, this is done. Totologic cut.